Eurocom drastically reduces the amount of time it takes for IT professionals to find the best telecom and cloud solutions for their business. Our president, Mike Smith, works with over 150 providers. You can pick his brain to find the most beneficial technology and best provider for your business. Hi, my name is Mike Smith. Welcome to episode 12 of Mike Smith's Brain, where we will be throwing little foam brains at Mike while he's talking. If you've watched episodes before, you've probably noticed Mike has a really bad habit of saying so all the time. Uh, so, 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 uh, so. This is our ammunition to help break him of his habit. So today I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking to you about um, back. I'm, I'm actually rewinding back to episode 10, where I posed a scenario at you about a company who's looking to buy a new phone system, and they're looking at to go to hosted phone system. They have about 200 employees at one site, but the problem is, is they have about 10 fax machines and they don't know what to do with them. So what I want to do is is uh, is give you my answer to that. My answer to that is that if a company has about 200 employees and they have about 10 fax machines, I think they have three options. Number one option is to keep the fax machines as POTS lines. So they have them right now as individual POTS lines hanging out and they wanna keep them that way, that's great. Um, and then the second option they have is to actually take those fax machines and move them over to analog ATA devices. So one, <laughs> I did it again. So, <laughs> um, in that case, that's what we have in our office. And the way you do that is you take your fax machine, you plug it into a little device and it actually converts that analog signal into a digital signal so you don't have to have the POTS lines anymore. The third scenario is to actually take those fax machines and convert them to virtual faxes. So you could do virtual faxes um, and that's something that's been around a long time but a lot of people still aren't quite sure how those work. So if you have some companies or you have some users that actually don't need outgoing faxes that much, can use a lot of incoming faxes and virtual faxes would be a, a great way to do it. If they also do outbound faxes a lot, there are some companies that do full virtual faxing where you can outbound fax as well from a virtual fax. If you're still a company that does some hard faxing, like you have signed documents in-house that you need to fax out on a fax machine, you might want to keep a couple faxes around as um, faxes on either an analog ATA or uh, a just a POTS line. So those are the three answers that, that, uh, that I would go with with fax machines. Um, number one, stick with POTS lines. Number two, get an analog ATA device. And number three, turn them into virtual faxes. Is that the answers you had? I'd be curious to find out. So I guess I'll see that. Um, in the meantime, I hope that helped. Direct message us and let us know what technology you want me to talk about and what providers you want me to compare it across or just compare it across all, compare it across all different providers. And uh, we will pick some of those questions and feature them on one of our upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Wait! Whatever you do, make sure you follow us. If you like the videos, if you like the blogs, don't forget to follow us on whatever social media that you like. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. Follow us and you'll get them all the time.